Okay, just so you're aware, I'm currently doing another episode right now where I'm cooking food up. And um, for the first time, we're going to try to cook um, food using the inverter cooking system to cook the rice. But at the same time, I'm also using the hood, the um, engine under the hood, um, to try to cook up some pork chops, Dollar Tree pork chops, and Dollar Tree stir-fried vegetables. So... Uh, this is my first time, so I don't know how long it has to cook. I don't know if it's going to get hot enough to cook it. Um, so we're going to find that out. But meanwhile, I thought, you know, since the food is cooking and I'm running the inverter to allow the rice cooker to cook the rice inside, I might as well uh, drive around and give people a little tour of the area. Uh, we've just left the uh, Cocoa Beach Library, and I am now getting ready to head northbound onto North Atlantic, which is also known as A1A. Um, the road right by the library was called Fourth. Oh man, these cars. I'm trying to get out of here before they show up. Okay, hopefully nobody hits me. All right, we are on A1A northbound right now. And it is hot as all heck in my car. Raining. Get into the right lane here. I wonder if my pork chop's gonna smell like, um, engine <laughs> exhaust You know, what's interesting about this particular rainstorm is it's happening at about 6, 15, 6, 20. It's about 6, 15, 6, 20 p.m. right now. Usually when we get rain around here, we don't get it like in the evening like this. Maybe we do. I don't know. I know in Orlando, we used to always could tell the time by whether or not it was raining. It would rain at 3 p.m. every day. This seems to be almost like a random rainstorm. Uh, we're just going by Lori Wilson Park right now. It's Lori Wilson Park. Not the camera a little bit, it looks a little lopsided. doing much talking because I thought you guys might just want to see the um, the sights and kind of hear the sounds. Well, there's not really too many sounds because the window's up. But this is um, Cocoa Beach. For those of you who, came, uh, who are coming down here, I just wanted to point out there's a Dollar Tree right there by a road called Fisher Park. I think it's across the street from Fisher Park. It's an Econo Lodge. Now we are heading northbound. So I'm trying to give you a rough point of reference so you know where to expect um, things. This is the Hamptons Inn which is approximately one and a half to two blocks north of the Dollar Tree.
and we're getting ready to come up on um, Ron John too coming up real soon. St. Lucie Boat Lane is what they call it. Four points. By Sheridan. It's right here on our right. It's this other funky looking building. And right next to that is Ron John. So the Dollar Tree is about four blocks maybe south of uh, Ron John's. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Ron John side. This side right here, if you take a right, you can actually go to the Sheridan parking, the parking garage, and it's free parking there. No overnight parking, but you could probably park there for the day once, you know, you don't look like you're camping there. So this is Ron John's free parking here on our left. I am not going to park here. Um, just wanted to show you where things are if you end up finding yourself down here and you just want to... You can park here and um, hang out at Ron John's. You can actually walk to the beach. You're supposed to go to Ron John's, but I don't think they enforce that. Um, this side right here, when you get to this side, it's metered parking, which they just started setting up, so the city of Coco is charging money. But Ron John's here says unauthorized vehicles be towed. You're not supposed to park here overnight, but it says customer parking. Um, so this is for Ron John's parking. But I know a lot of people park here and go to the beach. So if you don't want to pay the metered parking, you could probably park here, Ron John's parking, and go to the beach. I am going to park here for a moment and uh, just access Wi-Fi from here. I don't think they have free Wi-Fi here, but they do have um, Bright House, which is like the um, local internet provider. And I'm able to access Bright House internet. in and uh, we're just gonna park and see Ron John straight ahead and it's time for me to check on my experiment maybe flip the food <laughs> 